Uh, we have Lola West, a fifth grader at KB Polk Center for Academically Talented and Gifted. Hello, Lola. What would you say to maybe a student who's in this audience, or maybe at your school or any of the other schools, about why they should consider being in this competition next year? Why would that be a good thing for them to do? It's a great experiment, I mean, experience. You meet a lot of new people, and you learn things that you never knew actually happened, like how Muhammad Ali refused to go to the Vietnam War. I learned that just now during this competition. Do you like learning things? I love learning. Knowledge is important. Yes. Yes, it is. Handshake hug or high five? Hug. Shall I make it a little? Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's a little high. Right there, right there. Yes. Good morning. My name is Lola West. I am a fifth grade student from KB Polk Elementary. If Dr. King were alive today, what would he say about Muhammad Ali's contribution to society? The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in times of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. These words from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. are the perfect definition of Muhammad Ali's character. Ali spread the word about social, racial, and religious injustice and stood up for what he believed in. And while doing that, he inspired millions of people across the world. Dr. King would be proud of the contribution that Ali gave to society. Dr. King would say that Ali's measure as a man was enormous because he never allowed himself to be comfortable and he didn't allow his success to ever stop him from pointing out the need for racial and social justice. Ali's fight for social justice went well beyond the boxing ring. The fame he gained as a boxer made him recognizable around the world, and that gave him the ability to point out the inequality he faced every day. Ali wanted blacks and whites to go to the same stores, the same movie theaters, and drink from the same water fountains. He wanted people to respect blacks, not treat them like animals. Ali's fame didn't keep him out of trouble when he refused to go to the Vietnam War. His words will never be forgotten. Why should they ask me to put on a uniform and go 10,000 miles from home and drop bombs and bullets on brown people in Vietnam while so-called Negro people in Louisville are treated like dogs and denied simple human rights? No, I'm not going 10,000 miles from home to help murder and burn another poor nation simply to continue the domination of white slave masters of the darker people the world over. This is the day when such evils must come to an end. I have been warned that to take such a stand would cost me millions of dollars, but I have said it once and I'll say it again. The real enemy of my people is here. I will not disgrace my religion, my people, or myself by becoming a tool to enslave those who are fighting for their own justice, freedom, and equality. If I thought the war was going to bring freedom and equality to 22 million of my people, they wouldn't have to draft me. I join tomorrow. I have nothing to lose by standing up for my beliefs. So I'll go to jail. So what? We've been in jail for 400 years. Ali kept fighting, not with just these words. Ali did not stop, simply because he knew that his life would have no comfort or convenience. Ali kept speaking, even at school playgrounds, to make sure his voice was heard and his message was carried to other generations. He made sure everyone knew about what was going on. Dr. King would be proud of this. Dr. King would have seen the real measure of the man that Ali was. Although Dr. King and Ali both fought for racial equality, they had different styles. Ali was quick and in your face. Dr. King was long and gracious. I have a dream was the most famous line given by Dr. King in his most famous speech. I ain't got nothing against them, Kong, was Ali's. Even though they had different ways of spreading very similar messages, everybody understood what they meant. Ali inspired people, not by the fights he won in the ring, but by those he fought outside the ring. He made sure people understood what was going on in the United States and talked about issues in different countries. 
He stood by what he said and didn't accept any mess from anybody. I believe that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would say that Ali was an inspiring man if he was alive today. I believe that Dr. King would say that Ali stood tall and proud in times of challenge and controversy. I believe that Dr. King would say that Ali was a man of enormous measure. Thank you.